watching Dante's Boxing Nation. Dante's Boxing Nation, what's going on guys? Well, there's some really good news for Andre Ward and Sergey Kovalev. It was just reported that they have already sold nearly 10,000 tickets in the first 36 hours for an arena that holds 17,500 seats. The number was 9,500 to be approximate. Those are how many tickets were sold so far. Now this is really, really good news considering the fact that those tickets that were sold were sold to actual fans and not brokers okay because a lot of times when these tickets are sold they sell them to the brokers and to the fans and you don't really you can't really tell exactly how many tickets the actual fans purchase but these are tickets that have been purchased by straight fans boxing fans okay this is really good I mean the whole thing is when it comes to this fight, I didn't have too many high expectations when it comes to the financial success of this fight because we all know that Andre Ward and Sergey Kovalev, they're not pay-per-view fighters. They're not pay-per-view stars, okay? This is the beginning of their journey to superstar status. So any pay-per-view number that they bring in when it comes to buys, I'm going to be okay with. I'm not going to sit over here and tell you, like Tom Loeffler told us, that Golovkin versus Lemieux is going to do three to 400,000 pay-per-views. No, I have no expectations for this fight. I'm just happy as a boxing fan that we are getting to watch the best fight the best, right? It's just like when I watch the Olympics. It doesn't matter how many people tune in to watch the gold medal match. That's the match that I want to watch more than any other match is the gold medal match and this right here is the gold medal match for professional boxing and for the boxing fans you know I think it's very unfortunate that Gennady Golovkin was not willing to get in the ring with Andre Ward because I believe matter of fact I know for a fact the winner of that fight would have produced a superstar okay because Gennady Golovkin, today, he's still not a superstar. He's one of the fans' favorites, but that doesn't make him a superstar. A superstar is a fighter that the average person that walks down the street or you see in a grocery store, you ask that person, do you know who Andre Ward is? Do you know who Gennady Golovkin is? And they say, of course I know who he is. That is what you call a superstar. There aren't too many superstars in the sport of boxing today. It's only one, and that guy is retired. That's Floyd Mayweather. And of course, people, they know Manny Pacquiao as well. But, you know, if, once again, going back to Golovkin versus Ward, if that fight would have came to fruition, that fight would have produced a superstar. Now, not on the level of a Mayweather, a De La Hoya, or a Mike Tyson, but it would have at least started the ball rolling and because we didn't get that fight now Andre Ward he starts with Sergey Kovalev and Kovalev starts with Andre Ward but because I'm picking Andre Ward to win this fight I'm assuming that if Andre Ward does win this fight he becomes a big damn deal in the sport of boxing at least in terms of exposure Andre Ward is already pound for pound the best fighter in the world because there's no fighter today that can match Andre Ward's resume. 
Andre Ward has already beaten at least three to four fighters that were currently on the top 10 pound for pound list. And if he beats Sergey Kovalev, that makes either four or five. Can you guys name any fighter that you know right now that has beat that many fighters on a pound for pound list? You can't, right? That's the reason why Andre Ward is pound for pound, and that's the reason why this win solidifies him as the undisputed pound for pound champion. And if Sergey Kovalev were to, you know, prove me wrong, pull off what I would consider a minor upset and beat Andre Ward, then Sergey Kovalev becomes pound for pound the undisputed best fighter in the world. Because even Sergey Kovalev will have more wins against pound for pound fighters today than any other fighter outside of Andre Ward. Okay? So this is for all the marbles. We haven't had an undisputed pound for pound champion since Floyd Mayweather. But anyway, I'm gonna have to go ahead and cut this video short. I was about to speak a little longer, but I'm gonna have to go ahead and cut it short. But one thing I will say before I end this video is regardless of what these numbers are, the most important thing in every sport is who the best is. That is the most important thing. Forget all that, who's more popular, who's more liked, who's more disliked. None of that really matters. Only thing that matters is who is the best. And we are gonna find that out once Sergey Kovalev and Andre Ward get in the ring in November. Like I said, in every other sport, from basketball to football to the Olympic Games, when you win the Super Bowl, when you win the finals, when you win a gold medal, no one talks about how many people seen the fight. No one talks about if they like that person or how much they like them, how much they dislike them. None of that matters anymore. If you win a gold medal, your country is going to be jumping up and down for you. They don't, they're not going to sit over here and say, oh, but you want a gold medal, but the performance wasn't that exciting. It wasn't that entertaining. They're not going to say that because all they see is a gold medal. This is the reason why fighters from different countries, when they win a gold medal, their country spoils them because there is nothing more impressive than winning a gold medal, right? So that's just food for thought. That's all I got. I'm on to the next one, y'all. You think I'm stupid, son? No, sir. Yes, you do. You're trying to con a con man. You're not even learning anything on the streets, are you? This is Bobby, and you're watching Dante's Boxing Nation.